Welcome to Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition. Today we're going to talk about the Battle of Plains Store, otherwise known as the Battle of Springfield Road, located in East Baton Rouge Parish, Louisiana, between Union Major General Christopher C. Auger, new to this show, and his 19th Corps, consisting of one division of infantry and one brigade of cavalry, and Confederate Colonel Frank W. Powers and Colonel William R. Miles and his Confederate Port Hudson garrison of 600 men on the 21st of May, 1863. While the Confederate forces were reeling from blows of the spring of 1863, they still controlled Port Hudson and the Mississippi River, which was responsible for supplying the eastern portion of the Confederate Army. Seeing this, Union Major General Nathaniel P. Banks shifted his armies towards Port Hudson. In support of Banks' movement, Union General Christopher C. Auger ordered his division north from Baton Rouge towards the intersection of Plains Store and Bayou Serra Road in order to cut off the Confederates from the south and to allow Port Hudson to be caught between two large Union forces. Confederate command, in a desperate move to stop this pincher movement, ordered Confederate Colonel Frank P. Powers and 600 men to secure the crossroads at Plain Store. Augur's division was making good time when Union Colonel N.A.M. Dudley's brigade was scouting ahead and on May 21st, they found Powers at the intersection. Fortunately for Dudley, Powers' troops were low on ammunition and decided a discreet withdrawal before they were encircled was the most appropriate plan. Unbeknownst to Powers, Confederate Colonel W.R. Miles arrived at the intersection later that afternoon with 400 men, finding the Union's 48th Massachusetts Infantry. Miles ordered an assault on the Union troops, catching them off guard. The Confederates routed the 48th and even captured one of their larger cannons. Union General Augur wouldn't let this go, though, and ordered the 116th New York Infantry to attack the Confederates. They were successful in doing this, including capturing the cannon the 48th had lost earlier in that day. Without Powers' troops as reinforcements, Miles was forced to retreat back to Fort Hudson the same way that Powers had done earlier that day. Total losses for both sides overall was light, with the Union suffering approximately 150 men killed, wounded, or missing, while the Confederates suffered about 100 men killed, wounded, or missing. One detail that occurred during the battle, the Commander Port Hudson, Confederate Major General Franklin Gardner, had received orders from Confederate General Joseph E. Johnston to leave the city and pull back. Gardner ignored the orders and instead requested reinforcements. The answer he received from General Johnston arrived on May 23rd and it was to say no. Johnston ordered Gardner yet again to retreat. However, by this time the order was too late as the Union forces had already cut Gardner off. Join us again next time on Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition. <laughs>